You're about halfway through the course now, and you've done well. But let's keep our eye on the prize here. What you really want to get out of this, it's a 12-month endurance plan that's evidence-based. And we still have a couple more steps to go. So let's focus on what we're going to cover next. So this really does represent a turning point. In the first half of this course, we've covered the science of mixed martial arts. So now you should know about the metabolic demands of MMA. You should know how to target the specific energy systems that we talked about by manipulating work to rest ratios. You should know about overtraining and how to avoid it and the signs and symptoms. You should know about the theory of periodization as it relates to mixed martial arts, and you should know the importance of performance testing. What we wanna focus on now is applying everything that we've learned. Now, before we can do that though, I need to just talk about and introduce you to the structure of this four-step plan. You need to know exactly how we're going to do this. So that's the purpose of this session, session six, is to introduce you to those four steps that we're going to use to create unstoppable endurance. So a couple learning objectives. First and foremost, I want to introduce you to the worksheets that we're going to be working with for the next couple sessions. And after that, I want to introduce you to the four steps that we're going to be using to create unstoppable endurance. So here's the outline. This is what we're going to cover in this video lecture. First, we're going to introduce you to the worksheets, and then we're going to cover steps one, two, three, and four. Steps one is scheduling the big training phases. Step two is forecasting training volume and intensity. Step three is planning training subphases and training weeks. Step four is programming the training session, then we're going to have a summary. Now remember, we're not doing, these, this isn't a workshop. I'm just giving you an overview of all the different steps, so you know exactly what to expect. So the first thing that I want to do is just introduce you to the worksheets that we're going to be using. Now, I just want to direct your attention to the download section. In that download section, you're going to be able to download two different documents. One, it's an Excel sheet. It's called um, uh, Fight Plan Template. And the other one, it's a Word document, and it's also called Fight Plan Template. So uh, let me just bring these up and show you exactly what, what I'm talking about. Here's the Word document. So what this is, uh, is we have a whole bunch of different factors over here on the left side. Uh, we have information about your fight schedule, your training cycles, and I'm gonna go over these in more detail in a second. And we have information about performance factors. You, uh, uh, you don't need to know what these are right now. I just wanna introduce you to the structure of the document. And then we have all this information on the, on the right-hand side of the space to actually program uh, your periodized training plan that's individualized to you. So in the Word document, it's just a template. So I've created a couple of different pages. There's enough pages here to do at least a, a 12 month plan. So if you're old fashioned, if you like to work with pencils and papers, and uh, sometimes I like to work with pencils and papers as well, uh, then this is for you. So what you should do is download this document. If on the other hand, you are a little more computer savvy, then I'm gonna recommend that you download the, the Excel document. And that's what we're looking at right now. So the difference is, rather than downloading it and, and, and printing it off and, and using a pencil to write everything, then you're gonna be just using everything in Excel. You're, you're gonna be, be creating lines, you're gonna be um, typing in um, uh, information in Excel. Now the nice thing about this is it's, it's pretty condensed. And the way I've set it up is we still have all those performance factors, training cycles and fight schedule, all that information on the left-hand side, except now uh, you can scroll across and you can type the information in uh, as you go along. And again, there's enough room here for a 12-month plan. So I'm gonna be working with Excel because it's pretty easy to use for me, um, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna, I want you to pause the video right now and, and download either the Excel uh, worksheet or the or the Word document and if you download the Word document make sure you print it off and get a pencil uh, and come on back because we're going to be going through this stuff uh, and, and I'm going to be introducing you to all the key concepts and everything on the left here so pause the video now go and get that stuff and then turn me back on when you're ready to go Okay, I'm gonna assume that you're ready to go, so I'm gonna start reviewing everything on this left-hand side. So at the very top, we're looking at information about our fight schedule. So this is your fight schedule. We're gonna see information on the location. You can type in uh, or, or write in in this segment. There's gonna be the date, of course, of your fight. Uh, there's gonna be information on the calendar month and the calendar week. So you're gonna input all this information uh, as it relates to, your, relates to your fight from now until then. So this is pretty important information. It's the big picture stuff, and it helps us uh, detail our training uh, and tra training cycles later on. 
So that moves us on to the training cycle section. And the big phases here, this is the first thing that we focus on. And we're going to write the big training phases in here. If you remember, that's the general prep phase. That's the fight specific phase. That's the, the, the fight camp, the taper, the transition. We're going to write all that stuff in here. And then the next thing that you're going to see is information about training volume and training intensity. And these things can range from, I put about 10% all the way up to 100%. And we're going to draw the lines in that correspond to the training volume and intensity and how it's going to fluctuate over the course of our plan. And then we drill down from the big training phases down into training sub phases, training weeks, and even the training day. And all that information is going to go right across here. Uh, training weeks right across here, training days, and you can see this is even broken down into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday even. And then below this, we have the difficulty of training, which is going to be scheduled on a weekly and daily basis. And the, the difficulty of training can range from no training, because you got to have days off every once in a while, to low, uh, low training difficulty, uh, medium, high, and very high training difficulty. So this is the information that I'm going to be, or this is where the information is going to go. Don't worry, I know this probably sounds a little bit confusing, but this is your first glimpse at the worksheet and we're gonna take you through that step-by-step -step process later on. Everything is gonna become very, very clear uh, with regards to these periodization factors, the training cycle information. And then at the bottom here, we have performance factors. These are all the performance factors that influence your performance in the cage. So you're gonna have things like your resistance training, which includes strength and endurance and, and power development. When I say endurance, I'm talking about muscular endurance and muscular strength and, and muscular power. Um, so you'll focus on that, those objectives in this section. Uh, but remember, the purpose of this video, it's not to design a resistance training program. There's other courses for that. The purpose of this video uh, series is to help you develop unstoppable endurance. So you can see that performance factor is going to be dealt with here. So I'm going to be helping you fill in this row right here. But these are all the performance factors that can be periodized across your fight plan. But just as a reminder, we're going to be working uh, exclusively with endurance training. So I hope this gives you a good understanding of, uh, of all the things that we're going to be filling in, all the different performance factors. It may sound a little bit confusing right now, but don't worry, we're gonna work our way through it together. So let's go back to that presentation. So I hope now you have a good understanding of the worksheets. What I wanna do now is just talk about the different steps that, are, that, that I'm gonna take you through. There's four different steps. So the first thing that, that we're gonna do when we get to that, and this is gonna be session seven, we focus on step one, we're gonna focus on the big picture stuff. We're gonna to start to plan your transition, which is around three weeks, your taper, which the fight camp, it's eight weeks before that. And then we schedule the fight specific preparatory phase. Now the length of the fight specific prep phase, it depends upon where you're at in your training. If you need to develop a lot of aerobic endurance, if that's your weak area, then you need to include a general prep phase. Uh, but if you're advanced, uh, if you have good aerobic endurance and you're really just looking to optimize your performance and focus on all other energy systems, you, you probably don't need to have as long or a general prep phase at all. So let's have a look uh, at a little example here. So here's the example of, of the 12 month plan. You can see how long it is. It's a little bit difficult to see. So why don't I bring up an Excel document just to review exactly what we're looking at. So uh, what we're focused on here, it's, it's uh, the big training phases and making sure that everything, these big training phases matches up with your fight schedule. So uh, you can look at the top here and I'm gonna scroll through in the Excel document, you can see we got the general prep phase, which transitions into the fight specific phase, which moves into the fight camp and moves into the taper and the transition. So the whole point of this session it's to make sure, and, and this session is going to be session seven, is to make sure that the fight schedule matches up with the training phases. I'm going to take you through step by step how to do that exactly. Let's go back over that, that presentation. And then we move on to step two, which is forecasting training volume and intensity for the 12 month plan. So you can see here that we're focusing on the general prep, the fight specific prep, the fight camp, the taper and the transition. And we're going to be manipulating training volume shown in blue and training intensity shown in red over the whole course uh, of this plan. And it's gonna be ranging from zero all the way up to 100%. So you may be scratching your head saying, well, why do these things curve at these moments in time? And I'm gonna say, well, there's really no science out there to say that uh, one, you should be manipulating um, volume uh, at the end of the general prep phase and, and training intensity shouldn't be crossing over training volume until the middle of fight specific phase. Uh, 
I think I have a good rationale for it and I'm going to share that rationale with you in session number eight. But it's really totally up to you where you manipulate training volume and intensity. I'm just here uh, as a guide. So here's an example of that, that 12 month plan. And I think we're good. We can see training volume and intensity and how it changes uh, over this whole plan. So that's the whole point of this session or uh, step two, session eight, is to, to help you program training volume and intensity over the course of your whole fight plan. After we've, we've moved through step two, that's session eight, we move on to session nine. And that's when we focus on planning these sub phases and training weeks. So you're gonna have a document that's gonna have the transition taper fight camp the fight specific prep phase and maybe the general prep phase scheduled and then we're going to start to go into each one of those phases and schedule those sub phases and you don't know about this yet you don't know that there are shock phases you don't know that there are developmental phases you don't know what those are you don't know that there are peaking weeks or transition weeks so we're going to introduce you to some concepts uh, in this uh, step uh, step three session nine set, uh, lecture so that's going to be an important one. Everything's going to be a whole lot clearer when we get into that. So in the case of the 12-month plan, then um, you're going to see here, uh, it's actually kind of hard to see. I'm going to bring up the Excel document so you can see that a little bit more clearly. So what we're looking at uh, in the purpose of, of uh, session nine, step three, is to manipulate these training factors, the sub phases, the training weeks, and then the difficulty of training. So as I said, uh, we're going to be introducing you to some concepts, the developmental subphases, uh, recovery weeks, uh, shock subphases, and, and um, shock training weeks. And so as I scroll across here, you're going to notice that these things change. You're going to notice that training difficulty, which we're going to help you fill out in this session, is indicated by a black line. This changes over time. Um, let me just scroll across here, and you can kind of see these things manipulated over time. So that's the purpose of, uh, of session nine is to show you exactly how to manipulate these factors over time. Let's go back to the beginning here. And then back to the lecture. And so now that you've scheduled the big training phases, you made it match up with, with, your, with your calendar schedule and your fight, and you schedule the sub phases, uh, you schedule the training weeks, you have the training difficulty set. Now it's time to actually get into the nitty gritty and start programming the training session. So what you're looking at here, this is, uh, this is the training log template, which you can also download. Uh, let me just bring that up so you can see exactly uh, what we're talking about. So here's again, uh, it's a Word document, it's the training log. And, and so the information you're gonna be putting here when you train is it could be an AM session right here, or it could be a, a PM session. And the type of information you're including is the phase that you're training in, with, whether it's the, the general prep, if that's, a, if that's applicable, or the fight specific prep, or uh, maybe it's the, the fight camp you're in, or the taper of the transition. Either way, you're putting that here. And then you're gonna identify the sub phase, maybe it's the developmental, shock, or recovery week. Again, I'm gonna give you a full definition and help you with all of those sub phases. Same with the training weeks. You're gonna put in the training day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the intended difficulty of the training session. You're gonna put your training objectives, which I'm gonna help you iron out, and I'm gonna talk about that more, more about that in a second. Uh, I'm gonna give you the warm up that you should use. I'm gonna give you the main body of the workout. I'm gonna give you the cool downs, and then we're gonna program all this stuff, and then you're going to fill in general comments, uh, if you have any. Other information that's available here, we, we've showed you these before. We want to make sure that you're not overtraining, so you have to monitor the signs and symptoms of overtraining in the areas of nutrition, uh, your physical body, and your health, so you can fill this out on, um, on each day that you train. And then just as a reminder, here are the overtraining signs and symptoms. So again, this is the training log, which you can download again here, but we've, we've covered this a little while ago. Let's get back to that presentation. So here's just an example. This is, this is um, what we want to get to. Is everything wa we, we want to fill everything out. And you want to know exactly what you're going to be doing, and that's what we're going to be telling you. Now, just as a little reminder here, uh, this is all step four. This is going to be uh, the final session, session 10. And we're going to be programming individual workouts. And this is just a review of, of how we program individual workouts. If you have a general prep phase, 
then in that we know we're going to be targeting mostly the aerobic energy systems and we have a whole bunch of workouts that we're going to select from. I'm going to hand pick them uh, with you and we're going to slot those into the appropriate sections. Uh, if you're focusing on other fight plans and maybe you're starting with the fight specific prep phase and maybe you're just focusing on aerobic glycolysis and then as you move through, move uh, closer to the fight camp, you start, you, you start to focus again still on aerobic glycolysis but you start to incorporate more ATP PCR training sessions. So uh, this is the rationale, this is how we structure your workouts. Let me just give you a little example actually uh, so you can see how we build these things in. So uh, this is an example of, let's move over to a fight specific. So here's an example of a fight specific preparatory phase. Uh, and this is what we're gonna show you exactly how to do. So you can see here there's workouts. Um, in this case, let me roll over that again. This workout here, it's six to seven times, 60 seconds on, four minutes off with the one minute build up, and it's MMA specific activity because they're in the fight specific preparatory phase. So this is what we're gonna show you exactly how to do. We're gonna, we're gonna get really, really detailed. So by the end of this, you should have all of your workouts chosen. So let's go back to that PowerPoint presentation. So let's give you a little summary here of everything that we've talked about so far. Remember, the first thing that I wanted to do, the big objective here was to introduce you to those worksheets. So now you should have an understanding of the worksheets. You should have downloaded them. You should know what we're gonna use them for. The next thing that we, we talked about was understanding the four steps to creating unstoppable endurance. This is what we're gonna be working through in sessions seven, eight, nine, and 10. Session seven, we're gonna cover step one. That's when we schedule the big training phases. Session eight, or step two, that's when we're gonna forecast training volume and intensity across your entire fight plan. It's gonna be individualized to you and your fight schedule. Step three, session nine, that's when we're gonna be planning training subphases and training weeks. And, and finally, step four, which is covered in session, set, session 10, the last session, that's when we really drill in, like we were just talking about, to those individual workouts. We tell you exactly what to do, the warm up, uh, the body of the workout, the cool down, you get it all. So I hope that you're excited, I hope that you're ready to go, and I look forward to, to working with you to create your own plan for developing unstoppable endurance. We'll see you in the next session.